Module 5, International System of Units. The International System of Units, uh, SI for short, is commonly referred to in the United States as the metric system. Now in the metric system there are three primary units. The first is the unit of length, which is the meter. One meter is just a little bit longer than a yard. The kilogram is the base measurement for mass which is similar to weight. We'll talk more about that later. A kilogram is about 2.2 pounds. One liter is used to measure volume and uh, or the liter is used to measure volume. One liter is just a little bit more than a quart. Now in the US customary system we have various units for lengths for example depending on the length being measured. We have the mile, which is 1,760 yards for long distances. We have yards, which are three feet, for smaller distances. We have feet, which is our 12 inches for yet smaller distances. And finally, for our precise measures, we have inches, which are then divided into half inch, quarter inch, eighth inch, and so on. Conversions can be a challenge with our system. For example, one mile is 5,280 feet. To contrast with that, all SI units of length are based upon the meter being multiplied by some power of 10. So to convert from a kilometer to a meter, we multiply by 1,000. To convert from a millimeter to a decameter, we divide by 10,000. All of the conversions uh, rely on multiplication or division by a power of 10 which is simply moving the decimal left or right. The prefixes kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and milli. The symbols for kilo we have a K and what kilo means is whatever the root word is we want a thousand times that. So a kilogram is a thousand grams. Kilometer is a thousand meters and so forth. Hecto, symbol is H. That means a hundred times whatever the root word is. Deca, which in the United States we usually spell D-E-C-A, is symbolized D-A so it doesn't get confused with deci. Deca is ten times the root, so a decaliter would be 10 liters. Then we've got the root word, whatever it is. Deci, symbolized with a D, is a tenth of a root, so a decimeter is a tenth of a meter. Centi, uh, symbolized with a C, is a hundredth of the root word, so a centiliter is a hundredth of a liter. Milli, is uh, symbolized with an M and it is one thousandth of the root. Now to change from one unit to another within the same uh, like within meters, I suggest creating a table like this where you have seven columns. Farthest to the left we'll put kilo and then we'll do hecto, deca, meter, Centa or deci, centi, milli. Now notice that a kilometer, km, hectometer, hm, etc., those are our symbols. Look at the number of meters that each of these represents. A kilometer is a thousand meters, hectometer is a hundred meters, decameter is ten meters. To convert between units, to change from a smaller unit to a larger unit. In other words, moving from right to left on the table, we're going to move the decimal one digit to the left for each jump in units. So to go from meters to kilometers, we have one meter, we would go one, two, three jumps to the left to match the three jumps to the left. 
and we would have 0 .001 kilometers. So one meter is 0 .001 kilometers. To change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, um, that's moving from left to right on the table, we're going to move the decimal left. Uh, I have an error in that, that should be right. Move one digit to the right for each jump in units. So, if we're going from, say, decameters to decimeters, that's two jumps, two columns jumped. So if I have one decameter, I would move the decimal two spaces to the right, and one decameter is the same as a hundred decimeters. Let's practice this a little bit. Um, starting off with seven kilometers. Now I put it in a kilo column just to help us figure out uh, where we're going, how many jumps we're taking. They probably won't be laid out like this in on your uh, exam, but it's or on your homework, but it's handy to create a table in your scratch paper. Let's say we want to go from kilometers to decameters. All right, that's two jumps. So we would take our seven kilometers, and since we're jumping to the right, we'll move our decimal to the right. One, two places. That gives us 700 decameters. If we wanted to change kilometers to millimeters, that's one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. So we'll take the seven and we'll move the decimal one, two, three, four, five, six times, throw in some zeros to hold our spaces, and we get seven million millimeters. Now you could fill in all of these blocks, but we won't do that right now. Let's look at converting 92 millimeters to, uh, let's say, let's convert it to meters. So that's going to be one, two, three jumps to go from millimeters to meters. So I'll start with my 92 and I will move my decimal one, two, three places over. So 92 millimeters is the same as 0 0.092 meters. And I like to put my leading zero in front of the decimal. Um, moving it to a hectometer. Well, let's see, that would be three, four, five jumps. So if we go one, two more jumps that would give us point zero 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 nine two and put a zero up front and again we could have just jumped two over from our meter if we would wanted to uh, what about forty three point eight hectograms how many kilograms is that well we're moving jumping one column to the left, so we'll move our decimal one space to the left, and 43.8 hectograms is the same as 4.38 kilograms. Or if we move it to decagrams, we'd move our decimal the other way, and we'd get 438 decagrams. Deciliters is the same. Um, if we wanted to go from deciliters to milliliters, we'd move the decimal two places to the right. So instead of 14, two places to the right would be 1400 milliliters. Or going to decaliters, we would move two places to the left, 
and we'd get 0.14 deciliters. By taking from here, going 1, 2, we have 0.14. Alright, moving on.